horizon league so if there's a chance right now with Cleveland State actually the 10th seed they've had one game more played this year they're four and 12 at horizon league play Titans 4 and 11 and that triple is good by Devontae Flanagan so the big have. court like Steph Curry if he really wants to Although Steph Curry, a little, a little uncomfortable situation with the All-Star game, missed those half quarters for charity. But at least he did it in a good way. And that's another triple, again, by Bobby Ward. Is, and the Titans get it back. Detroit seemed to try to find their offense early here, a little imbalance. But Jenkins, a wide-open three for the senior. And that's stuff but not. <laughs> but he looks pretty good uh, taking that shot. Good defense that time by yep, the Titans. D by the Titans. Another Cleveland State miss. Another Jenkins three. Splash, splash. He's thinking of that. CJ, notice socks to this three points. He trailed by nine a couple times so far this evening. Here's Jenkins, wants another right wing three, and he'll take another right wing three. Three zone. Now making a three two zone. And McFowley almost picks it off. It's into the hands of Maxwell. And now swinging around to Daniel Levin for three, and he makes a big roll by the Titans defense. Here they come back the other way. Hogan had one of those, and Hogan has the ball now. Corey Allen at the second. Hogan moves in reverse. Oh, wow. good. A slicing, yeah. dicing move by Jenkins. Yeah, leads the way with 14, 10 points for Bobby Ward to lead the Vikings. And now Cleveland State's going to pick up three-quarter court, change the defensive scheme a little bit. Oh. To and he jams it home. Oh, it open the old arena. Well, he's one of their key guys right there, and they're doing a good job of shutting him down here in the first half. And here's a right wing three by Ward, and he, you don't want to get him heating up again. He's right in your face. Here's Josh McFowley <laughs> under a minute to go now. Jenkins has it back to McFowley. Now Corey Allen, you know he wants part of that three point party, but McFowley will take the top side and drain it from Henry. They want to get a stop. Last possession. And it's blocked by Jenkins, and the clock's going to expire. That shot shouldn't count, even went in as it wasn't out of his hands. And what a turnaround. Titans led Inside by. It went up with some authority. Big five minutes here for Detroit to start the second half. They can keep this going. They can put this game somewhat out of reach. And there's a long time left. And uh, with Pittsburgh, and they had a, a, a great team. A lot of Super Bowl titles. You ever think about playing some football as a kid, Earl? I mean, you definitely could have been an easy, easily a top. <laughs> Never. And a nice dipsy do by Gerard Williams. 54% for the game, 42% from downtown, 6 of 14. Cleveland State just 37%. As Gerard Williams, a little trouble there to Allen for a right wing three split slash. He's taking a bath over the back. Since he's been coach at Cleveland State in the last 11 seasons, so that's something to note. As far as we know, he might never have started one as a true freshman at Kent State either. Enjoy your Hogan for the pound town jam. Loses is the pass from Hogan. Now five to shoot. Titans have got to hurry, and it's stolen, and it's a wide open breakaway. It'll be jammed home by Anthony Wright. A breakdown sure offense. Take care of this basketball. And Cleveland strives on fourth, getting the turnovers and getting those easy opportunities like that. 8-4 run. Titans just by six. There's Jenkins for a big three, and it's guard. Mike's down by nine. Well, there's the double team now that Cleveland State. And a no-look pass for Blackshear to Williams to Hogan, and Hogan puts it up, gets it to go, and draws the foul. <laughs> Blackshear, Robinson Jr., Hogan, good ball movement after breaking the press for Detroit. Ten to shoot. Hogan back it in. Now Corey Allen fakes the three, looks to the top to Hogan, who jams it home. Six-point game, alley -oop for Jenkins to Hogan, too short and just like that. It's a one and done, but that's picked off by McFally. And now it's a three on one, and Josh jams it home. McFally's career high is 26, so he's got a chance at that as well. About to go under a minute to play here. Titans by 13, this one all but over. Or is it Daniel Levitt's back-to-back -back threes there? Well, he laid it on the line. You know, you got to like uh, what he brought to the table here. You know, for senior night, he came out and gave it everything he had. A guy that was injured and, you know, and didn't, didn't know if he was going to play. Uh, but he showed up to show you the kind of heart. Guaranteed that win down in Oakland. And the team went and pulled it out. And, you know, you got to appreciate uh, what he did. He'll be a well-respected Titan uh, forever. He absolutely will. And you can't have a much better performance on your senior night. Chris Jenkins with 25 24 for jaleel hogan a double double for him for the second time in the last three games it's 17 from josh mcfowley and we as we see chris jenkins there early you saw tonight it's just people stay